Hello guys, it's summer and it's way too hot. Not only for me, but also for my plants. I mean, I'm sweating just by standing out here. So that's why I want to build a little air conditioner or air cooler for my plants. Let's get started. But how am I going to build an air conditioner? I believe it's not that complicated actually. So first thing we of course need is a fan. Uh, for my purposes, I took a 92 by 92 mm fan used for cooling a PC. It's uh, this fan right here, it runs on 12 volts and I think it should do its job. And actually it's quite quiet, so it doesn't make too much noise, which is also very nice. So we have the rectangle right here as a symbol for the fan. You can do some blades in the middle. But that's not so important. The next thing that is important is a water tank at the side which is this piece right here. Then the next thing we should add is a little cloth or a piece of fabric uh, that's very thin. I took this one from an old t-shirt and I found out it works quite good for the purpose um, which would be to hang it all the way down here and then across the whole surface so that there is uh, lots and lots of surface the towel or the fabric gets in contact with the moving air so the wind the fan makes and why is that important in this tank of water which can be filled up to any level maybe this also this and this um, filled with water and then another little compartment for the drainage of the water down here and then what the water does is through capillary action which is the same thing trees use to get their water from the roots up 20 meters which is pretty crazy when you think about it the water gets sucked all the way up here even if the water is down here sucked all the way up and then go this way to the bottom and on its way down, the water gets evaporated through the fan and the uh, fast moving air, which then makes the air cold. And you probably have experienced that. As an example, when you get out of the pool and it's windy, you get cold. The only difference here that there is a lot more surface, so a lot more coolness, in theory. Let's try it out. All the prints have finished, three in total, and I've already assembled the whole thing using also the fabric as you can see right here. I also put in a little benchy that is actually able to float, uh, also as a gimmick but mainly to indicate the water level. Hope you can see it. Um, now I'm gonna plug it in. As you can hear, it's not too noisy and you can easily forget about it when it's standing on the other side of the room. As I can already feel, the air coming out of here is pretty cold. But to test how cold it is and how the whole thing behaves, I'm gonna put this thing in a box together with the hygrometer and the thermometer. And then we're gonna see how it behaves over time. Here we have the temperature and humidity shown over time as a graph. You can definitely see how the device cooled down the air over time and also how it depends on the humidity. As you can see the humidity rises as soon as I plug the thing in to up to 90% and when the humidity is 90% uh, the air doesn't get any cooler. 
we can clearly see how the device cools down the air over time. But what we can also see is how the temperature depends on the humidity. What we see is that when the humidity rises to up to 90%, uh, the air doesn't get any cooler. So that means if we want to run this thing continuously for more than one day, we need to put a hole um, somewhere in the roof of the greenhouse so that the humidity can escape. But the cool air can't because it's uh, denser than warm air, so it stays at the bottom. And that means if we want to run this thing over more than one day, we need to get the humidity out of the greenhouse. And how we're gonna do that is what I've tried. If you put a little hole in the top of your little greenhouse, the humidity can escape, but the cold air can't really. So when the humidity is continuously low, also the temperature sinks. Of course, this thing isn't a high powered air conditioner, but it is pretty energy efficient and I can use it very good for my hydroponic system. If you want to print this thing yourself, you can find all the links in the description for Thingiverse. Until then, I'll see you around.